Hi guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I'm going to be showing you what I currently have out from the library. So since I put up my library vlog and haul in March, um, I've been using my library a lot more um, to the point where I've been uh, just slightly obsessed. Um, and I made my husband get out a library card about two or three weeks ago now so I could put even more books on his card which yeah it's quite sad thinking about it I have plenty of books to read I don't really need that many um, but I did a bit of a decluttering I have a few books to take back to the library I'll just get them back out again in the, in the future um, but anyway, after that kind of ramble, I'm going to show you what I have out. I'm currently reading A Thousand Pieces of You, and this is by Claudia Gray. This is a YA sort of time travel book, or not really time travel, but like travelling between dimensions. So the kind of idea that you go to another dimension where there's a version of you, or there was a version of you, but the world is obviously very different. So I've only read the first 100 pages of this, but I'm quite liking it so far. It focuses around a character called Marguerite, or um, Meg, and at the beginning of the book, we find out that her father has been murdered, and it's her mother and father who have invented this thing called the Firebird, and the Firebird is what allows you to jump between dimensions, um, and one of their um, research assistants called Paul is the one that they believe murdered her father and so she is kind of out to get revenge basically so yeah I'm really enjoying it so far I got this one from the library at, or I added it to my wish list quite a while ago based I think on the recommendation of Kirsty from Melbourne on my mind or Ravenclaw reading room she's no longer on YouTube but she's just fabulous um, and she really really likes this series and the covers are stunning they're so colourful so um, yeah, that's the first one. The next one I have out is, I believe, a thriller. This is called Accidents of Marriage, and this is by R.S. Myers. Again, another one I had on my wish list. I'll just read you what it says in the back. Maddie is a social worker trying to balance her career and three children. Years ago, she fell in love with Ben, a public defender drawn to his fiery passion. But now their relationship has changed. She facilitates, vac vacillates, uh, or vacillate, sorry, uh, between tiptoeing around Ben and asserting herself for the sake of their kids. Until the rainy day when they're together in the car and the tension reaches crisis point, leaving Maddie in hospital fighting for her life. Accidents of Marriage is a provocative and stunning novel that will resonate deeply, ultimately revealing the challenges of family, faith and forgiveness. Well, so maybe it's not actually a thriller, maybe it's sort of like a... Contempor like adult contemporary with some sort of darker themes so um, yeah sounds good. Um, next up I have Behind the Beautiful Forevers and this is by Catherine Boo. I think this is a non-fiction book and it says on the front that it won the Pulitzer Prize as well um, and this says it's a landmark work about the invisible families who fuel the machinery of India's growth and about what it takes to escape poverty in one of the 21st century's great unequal cities. So um, I just love the idea of where this is, um, the, the country that this is talking about and um, what it's about. It, it kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what's it called? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the whole Slumdog Millionaire thing, but uh, like I said, this is non-fiction, so I think it's going to give us um, a lot of insight into what life is like in the slums of um, Mumbai in India so yeah. I also have here Artemis and this is by Andy Weir this is his second novel I haven't heard great things about it so I didn't I saw it in my local supermarket a couple of times and I was tempted to buy it but I thought I would get it out from the library instead and then if I enjoy it I can always pick up a paperback version of it later on um, but this, I believe, is um, another sci-fi book that's set on the moon, and there's some sort of um, a, a sort of a habitation on the moon, and the main character gets caught up in something that she shouldn't, and that's kind of all I know about it. So, yeah, interested in that one. This next one is a tree grows in Brooklyn, and this is by Betty Smith. Um, and all I know about this is that it's set in Brooklyn, and it says on the back that it's about a family called the Nolans who lived in the Williamsburg slums of Brooklyn from 1902 
until 1919. Um, and it follows one of the children in that family called F Francie. And it's about her growing up and things like that in Brooklyn. So, um, yeah, I think that sounds really, really good. I've heard excellent things about this book. So, yeah, looking forward to reading that one. All the other books I've got to show you are YA books. Um, and the first of those is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. And this is by Michelle Hodkin. I don't really have any idea about what this is about. Sorry, there was a glare there. Didn't really have any idea of what this was about. I just knew that books... Uh, Kayla from Books of Lala, this is her favourite series, uh, or one of her favourite series anyway, and this is a YA series that you hear quite a lot about on Booktube. Um, when I read the back of this, it seems to be about a girl who wakes up and has lost all of her memory. It's set in against the backdrop of her being in high school and things like that. Um, I've just always been really intrigued by this cover as well, it's almost like the two characters are swimming or something like that, I don't really know. So um, I do know that there's um, a, the, a spin-off series to this, I think it's called like The Becoming of Noah Shaw or so, something kind of along those lines and I know that Lala didn't really like that one as much but um, yeah I've always been intrigued by this so I was really excited to see that my library had it and I picked up a coin, I picked up a copy of it. Next I have um, Slated and this is by Terry Terry, great name. Um, I have books two and three in the series on my shelf um, and I've been looking for book one and I thought I'd just pick it up from the library. Um, and this is I believe about a world where um, your mind is wiped when you do something wrong. So it says on the back, yeah, Kyla's memory has been erased, her personality wiped blank, her memory's lost forever, she's been slated. The government claims she was a terrorist and that they're giving her a second chance as long as she pay, plays by the rules. The echoes of the past whisper in Kyla's mind. Someone is lying to her and nothing is as it seems. Who can she trust in her search for the truth? What made me more intrigued by this series is that Lisa from Books and Smiles, um, I think put it on her list of her favourite series from 2017. Uh, and I always really trust her opinion, so I thought I would pick up the first one from the library and then obviously read the other two on my shelf. I also have here The Next Together, and this is by Lauren James. Um, this is, I think, a brand new copy of it. I think maybe I'm the first person to read this. Um, and this reminds me of the premise for um, The Time Traveller's Wife by Audrey Neffenager. So this says on the back, Catherine and Matthew are destined to be born again and again. Each time they fall hopelessly in love, only to be tragically separated. Maybe the next together will be different. It's maybe not the time traveller's wife. But that, maybe like a Groundhog Day type scenario, I don't really know. Uh, but there's going to be some romance in here and the cover again is um, really, really beautiful. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to talk about these ones briefly because these are still ones that I have out from the library from when I did my first haul um, and they are My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick and also um, Far From The Tree by Robin Benway. Um, I think I'm going to be doing a buddy read of this with Lisa from Books and Smiles at some point. She put this on her um, new sort of five star predictions list so yeah. And then the last two are relatively new releases. Um, the first one of those is Love, Hate and Other Filters and this is by Samira Ahmed. And this is, I believe, um, centred around a main character um, called Maya and she is a teenager and then she lives in New York and then there's a terrorist attack. I don't know whether it's in New York. Oh, it's, no, it's in another city. And then people start looking at her differently. Uh, because of the fact that she, because of the colour of her skin and things like that. So I think this is going to be about the kind of idea of um, prejudice in small towns and kind of like the how terrorism is affecting um, people's lives who, you know, come from the same culture or look the same um, or follow the same religion as those people who, you know, are, who are terrorists. Um, and how that's affecting people's lives. So um, I've heard quite good things about this book, So and it's quite short actually, so um, I'm looking forward to picking that one up. And then lastly, this is a book that I had on my, that on my new Book Buzz video that I put up before Christmas. So I think it was released 
before Christmas, I don't know which month, uh, but it is Piecing Me Together and this is by Renee Watson and this focuses around a, a main character who comes from a a poor background and she's black and she manages to win a scholarship to a much better school outside of her area um, and then when she's at this new school she enters this mentoring program and yeah it's all about sort of how she gets on in this new school so again this is quite short I was quite surprised by that I don't think I've heard anybody talking about it um, and I really wanted to pick up a few more of the books that I've been putting on those videos um, you know so I can review them for you guys so there you go guys, they were all of the things that I currently have out from the library. Um, I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments below, have you read any of these? Do you think there's ones that I should get to quicker than others? I'm tending to prioritise library books based on whether somebody else has put a hold on them or not and then I obviously I can't renew them. So A Thousand Pieces of You is one that I picked up because somebody else has got a hold on it currently and I only have I think something like... 10 days left to read it so I, I should get it done in that time but um yeah that's kind of how I'm prioritizing them at the moment but um if you think I should pick one up sooner than some of the other ones then please leave that in the comments below thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye